Character 7, victory screens, animated trailers, a new stage, new assists and new music. I mean this is literally everything we've ever wanted and we're getting it. The latest Framemaker's Kickstarter update has revealed a ton of super exciting updates coming to us in the future. Updates that are honestly going to have a pretty good chance of actually bringing Framemakers back. So here's everything you need to know about the most exciting bit of Framemakers news we've gotten in months. New assists. Team Frey is focusing on developing characters but has two new assists in progress. One of which is coming with its own music track and both of them are from games that haven't been wrapped in Framemakers yet. They didn't tell us when we're going to be getting these but I can assume it'll probably be a few months after the next character is added. More about that later. Victory screens. The basic functionality for victory screens is almost done and Team Frey have started working Working on the art for them. They're designed to be punchy, satisfying and easy for custom content creators to work with. People have been complaining about the lack of victory screens for ages now so the fact that they're finally on the way is super exciting. Their inclusion is just going to make the game feel so much more complete, I honestly can't wait for them to be added. There's also a new performance survey, which is a way to help the devs test the performance of the game. You can find the link to it on the Kickstarter. Shockingly, improving the performance of a game is always a good thing so I'm glad Team Frey is continuing to focus on it. This next bit isn't super exciting, it's about how the lead coder and artist of the Framemakers team had some pretty big family crises recently which slowed development a bit. Obviously in situations like that the priority isn't making a game, it's the well-being of the people. So I send my love and support to the people affected and I'm glad to hear that they're doing a bit better now. But now we have the biggest news of this update, Character 7. The pixel art for Character 7 is at 75% completion. When they're added to the game we'll also get their assist, a new stage including the Hazard version and two new remix songs. Apparently the stage Hazard is the team's most ambitious one yet so that's very exciting. But that's not it because Character 7 is going to be the first fighter to be revealed with an animated trailer. An actual, honest to god, animated trailer for a Framemakers character. Guys, this is genuinely really cool. Unfortunately we haven't got a release date for Character 7 but they're coming as soon as possible. Realistically? we're not going to be getting them this year but I'd estimate a March release would be the very latest we'd get unless circumstances change. And it's been way too long since we've got a new stage so the fact that we're not only getting character 7 but also a new stage is super exciting. It feels long overdue. The fact that the watcher was added like 3 months ago and character 7 is already nearly complete is genuinely amazing. We've gone from getting barely any new content to getting a huge just like stream of it all at once. I just hope that character 7 is an actually exciting character because obviously any new character is cool but Madeline from Celeste is going to be a lot more impactful than Jojo face from unknown indie game number 200. Updates like this is how you bring Framemakers player count up. If they can continue all the way like this until full release then the game is finally gonna have a solid chance at getting more players. Updates like the recent Lady Luck update which added Lady Luck from Dicey Dungeons as an assist. To check out Lady Luck watch this video here. I'm so excited for the future of this game. Thanks for watching.